Hey family, it's Drea Veda, Coyote Walking in this world in real life, the Slot of Pueblo superhero, proud two-spirited indigenous warrior. Guess who just finished participating in my third ever tournament family? This coyote has lost 110 pounds in 2017. I've kept it off through yoga, um, cardio, weightlifting, and training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu family. I just got my, I have a double bronze, a gold medal, and now this is going to be uh, my first bronze. So I'm super excited. Thank you so much to the amazing sisters, my warrior sisters who rolled with me today. Much respect. Thank you so much. This coyote had a great time. <laughs> my first match was tough, family. I'll be honest, it was skill against strength and i was I'm, i was bigger than her but she was so skillful and very strong family so please check out my match watch it while this coyote battles for my life <laughs> ah don't forget family i am also a medical marijuana um, advocate researcher and revolutionary i am here to transform this world on a mission from my ancestors <laughs> This is Princess Bubblegum family. <laughs> it is part of one of the many tools that helps me keep me on the path to success. This coyote, I manage a lot of family. I'm a civil rights advocate. I'm a vlogger with 30,000 followers. I compete and train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I'm here to just help family. I am definitely a community resource. I want you to please join me in becoming brave becoming courageous family i want to share with you um, the post that i did earlier did you guys see my post from facebook earlier and basically it was me from i believe around 2015 family and it was about changing my life right how do we make changes in our lives so yeah this was me in 2015 family. It was during Christmas time. I was sitting on the couch with my gammy. I was 290 pounds. I couldn't really move. I couldn't see a life for myself. I have an amazing partner. We've been together um, since 2001 family. So for 22 years, I've been with this amazing person who is the love of my life. But in 2015, I didn't see a future. Right, I, I thought he would die before myself, you know, heaven forbid, gammy watch over us, bless us. But I needed to make a life change. And for me, that was gastric bypass. That was starting with an elders tape of yoga family. Um, and I literally did that tape um, ah, every single day. Every single day I would check it out. Um, I would do that tape and I would do a little bit of exercise. And then I started going to the gym, you know, I tried the treadmill, I'd go walking, and then I finally upgraded to the elliptical. I was doing 90 minutes, and then I was doing two hours, and I was seeing the difference in my body. I was seeing the pounds um, melt away, family. <laughs> yes, our bodies are a formula. You exercise, we eat less um, when, you, when you engage in those bad habits. And this coyote has PTSD, anxiety, ADHD, OCD, and I'm a survival of trauma three times over family. Um, so what can we do to make sure that you stay with me, that we keep walking this warrior path that our communities need us? The Indianus family, let's be honest, it is a battle. I'm an educational warrior family of the civil rights Cases from the 1960s and 70s are being repeated. So family, we need you strong. We need all of the tools um, at our disposal. And that includes medical marijuana. So if you need help family, hit up this coyote. Let's go have an adventure. And let me remind you about how amazing you are. Again, shout out to my Gracie Vada family. Desiree and I rolled last weekend family. I made a little jujitsu mat at home. It was super fun. Um, I have been training super hard. Samantha, Sam, I love you. You're awesome. Eunice, can't wait till you're back to help train us. Um, Brianna, you did great today. Gabby, you kicked butt. You were amazing. Desiree, for real, we're gonna take on nationals. <laughs> I'm trying to get people going with me to nationals family. Um, but all of my amazing sister, Jess, you were awesome as well. And I heard Gavin won his match too. So family, I love you guys so much. Coach Joffrey, Professor Rodeo, Professor Saul, Coach Sarah, um, everyone. I love you all. Coach Enrique. <laughs>
I have so many people to thank, including my own family, family. They put up with me. They allow me to go training, they help support the expense of it. Um, they let me go to the gym for three hours a day. Um, and they're very understanding because they know that I made a life change to being a warrior. <laughs> thank you, family. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And we are going to end seeing my actual first match today. So I'm going to share with you, um, spoiler alert, I got bronze. <laughs> so that means that I did get third place, family, but that's okay. The competition was super fierce. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you my very first match of the, uh, the tournament today. My, this will be my third tournament ever, though. So this is a starting out family. And my fierce competitor, um, her name is Dominique. And she is very good, family. I am trying to stay on top and trying to get out of her guard. Let's be honest, her legs are very strong, family. And I'm trying to make sure she does not take my back. As you can see to the side, there's a little scoreboard right there. So neither of us have scored points. You can get points, um, for example, like with takedowns, but we both went down together, um, so no one got points on that. Right now, I'm still stuck in her guard. She's very strong, attempting to choke me. Once again, I'm trying to open her guard. <laughs> open her guard. I'm trying to stand up. At this point, I realize I am just scooting her around the mat, which isn't doing either of us good. Trying to posture up. Honestly, right now, family, she is choking me. At this moment, um, this is the technicality that will win her the match. But she is choking me, so I'm trying to get out of that chokehold right now. But I do get out of it successfully, family. I have learned how to control my panic attacks, even when my breath is cut off. <laughs> thank you to my sisters for choking me. Jenny, yay, thank you for trading with me. Danera, thank you for trading with me. Shasta, you guys are awesome. April, you guys are awesome. She's still choking me. I've gotten out of the choke pull part, um, but I'm trying to advance here, family. So see how I'm pulling on her leg? I'm attempting to open her legs, but she's very, very fierce. She still might be choking me. It is very uncomfortable, but Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu family, I am a survivor of rape and trauma, um, rape and molestation of the ramification of Indian boarding schools. Um, I was also a survivor of police brutality in 2008 and a uh, witness in a sexual harassment suit. So trauma family, I'm trying to keep her down at this point. I know if I let go of her arms or legs, she's going to try to sweep me. Um, if she takes my back, bad things will happen. So I'm expending all my effort in just controlling her limbs and making sure she doesn't flip me over. So as a survivor of trauma family, I absolutely feel more confident um, in being able to defend myself. And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has absolutely given me that gift. So I've been doing it for about two and a half years now. Whew, my competitor is very fierce family. She's trying to flip me over. Sweep, excuse me, sweep me. Not gonna happen. I'm trying to stack her and trying to get out of her legs. She has got a good hold on me on her legs. Yep. But I do not want her to get on top, family. If she gets on top, it is all over for me. So my entire job right now, in, tr in addition to trying to score points, coach over there is yelling at me. He's telling me to, to get out of gu her guard. But I got about a minute and 20 seconds left. Neither of us has points. We're trying to advance. But I know, honestly, that she... If I let go of her arms, see how I'm pinning her arms? That's my only hope, family. She is very skilled and has five wins at competitions compared to my one. So going into this competition, even though I am heavier, she has been uh, training and has a lot more time on the math than I do. So she has mad skills, family. 
So remember, just because you're dating someone doesn't necessarily mean um, that you know you're, you can defend yourself against them. If they're properly trained, um, like my peers in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, my amazing family, you could, um, you know, don't just bank on weight, don't just bank on muscle. Having more skill sets to call upon is very important. So yeah, hats off to Dominique. She was a very fierce opponent family. I'm still attempting to, right now I'm choking her. You guys can't see, but I'm attempting to choke her to make her submit because I know I only have seconds on the clock. Still trying to choke her. My only hope is that she taps out with the next, now time is over. What? <laughs> That was my first Brazilian Jiu Jitsu match today, family. It was huge. Um, it was a huge fight. I had incredible competition. She was very skilled. Um, neither of us could get one over the other, but she did win on a technicality um, because she had my choke. She had me to choke for longer. But let's just say, um, oops. <laughs> let's just say I had a great adventure. The next tape family, I'm not going to play for you because I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet, um, but I take on a world champion who is 16 years old. Guess how long it takes her before I have to tap out. <laughs> I'll just say family, today was a great, great, great experience. Um, I lost both of my matches, but you know what? I gave it a hell of a fight. I gave Dominique um, a run for her money. She couldn't take me down, um, but I'm going to work on it, family. I'm going to work on getting some skills. And I'm going to work my little heart out so that I can rock it with my family at the next tournament. Watch out, Nationals. I'm going to Phoenix. Let's see if that happens. Woo! There's no one in my weight category right now, family. So we're not sure if I'm going to have anyone to roll with. But fingers crossed. I love you so much, family. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for being part of my life. Thank you for supporting me on my journey and keeping up 110 pounds. I've had so much love and support from my family. Thank you so much to Gracie Bada Albuquerque, my home gym, and anyone out there, if you guys wanna do um, a training session they have for a free class, hit me up. I will go with you and I will handhold you through the process and I'm sure you'll fall in love with it just like I did. <laughs> love you all. Thank you again to my family for giving me support today. I will see you later, family. Off to God's trouble somewhere else.